in less than a month, the New Albany Institution is about to come to an end. This is a Johnson Barber Shop located on State Street near Spring. This logo has been here since 1964. And of course, another New Albany landmark, a reflection of the Ellsby building is in the background. Okay, the present location has been here since 1964. 419 State Street. 419 State Street. Okay, here's Howard Johnson Jr. going to tell me a little bit about the history. Originally this was what? The old farmer's hotel. And Jim Royce used to have a barber shop right here in the old hotel in this part of the hotel. And that was probably, that was probably uh, 60 years ago. Okay, and your dad started in the business? He started in business in May of uh, 1930. 1930. Up at Fourth and Spring Street. All right. In a little building up there right across from the old firehouse on Spring Street. And you started here with him in the shop, I guess the one that was two doors up the street? In 49. In 49, okay. He started there. He started there in 43. Right. And I got uh, close to my first haircut here, probably before that, about uh -huh. oh, 45, 46, something like that. What were you saying about my grandmother? <laughs> she, uh, she used to bring you to my dad because she didn't want your grandpa to cut his hair. She cut your hair. She didn't trust him, huh? <laughs> or the, I, I don't really know why, but she just wanted my dad to cut his hair. Just didn't hair. like the way he did it, I guess. No. Yeah. Well, I remember as a young teenager coming in here, when you first started to cut my hair, you'd always ask me about the stars. Remember, you'd say, Duke, tell me about the stars. About the stars. I was into astronomy. Yeah. Yeah. I still go out home there at night, out in the country, and you can see the stars a whole lot better than you can here in town. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, does it really seem like it's been 42 years that you've been here in this shop? Oh, no. Speaking of time going by fast, right? Right. That's right. Now, I'm going to take that chair there. I've worked that chair all the time, and I'm going to take it home with me and put it in my basement. Yeah. And set it and watch television. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> God. A lot of people come and gone in that chair, right? Well, they sure have. Yeah. What would you say from right here in this location, that the biggest changes you've seen in New Albany in these 40-some-odd years? All the, uh, the sale and rebuilding of the banks where they tore the jail and the courthouse down, the old post office, that's the biggest change in town. It's been probably 20, 30 years. What would, you say, what would you say has been the biggest change in customers you've seen in the last 40 years? I mean, people, have they changed or is it, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. You, well, 30 years ago, everybody got the same kind of haircut, and, and everybody gets a different kind of haircut now. There's, there's no uh, set rules to it anymore. But uh, there are no barbers. Now, call a how do you mean that? Then? Well, they're more stylists than they are barbers. Right. <clears throat> they just they don't teach them to use a pair of clippers anymore. I don't think at all. It's, just, it's changed a lot. It's, it's changed. You've been a barber all your life. I mean, has this your been your lifelong occupation? Uh, I worked at Colgate's about a year before I went to school. To barber school. Uh huh. Yeah. Where'd you go to barber school? Fraser over in Louisville. Uh -huh. It's not there anymore. It's a vacant lot. Go ahead. Your grandpa used to have a bowling alley right here across the street. Right across the street from here? Yep. Sure did. What kind of a building was over there then? Uh, well, it was, in, it was in a building. Indiana Candy Company was across the street there, and there was just another building beside that. Uh -huh. His uh, bowling alley was in that. Yeah, I know it was Esther, but I didn't know what her maiden name was. Yeah, Esther Curl. Uh, P.N. Curl was her grandfather that was pretty wealthy. Uh, well, we're talking way back the beginning of the century. He died in 1916, but he owned a lot of property and was a big uh, retailer here in New Albany. That's, I knew that. Uh -huh. I know what I wanted to ask you. What did haircuts cost when you first started into the business? 65 cents. 65? 65 cents when I started. Now they're $6 and a half. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. 
Now, am I mistaken? But I, I was I was thinking that my very first haircuts a quarter is that? Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. I think when my dad first started, when my dad first started, there was a quarter, man. They was a quarter for a long time. Uh, they didn't go up to thirty-five cents until probably the war started. I remember I'd come in here and periodically your dad would say to me, Duke, I hate to be the one to tell you, but haircuts have gone up, you know, another 15 or 20 cents yeah. or something. Yeah. Take a wild guess as to how many customers you've had since you started. Oh, I, would, I would have, wouldn't have a foggiest idea. We're talking thousands. Oh, yes. Anything philosophical you want to say about being a barber before I fade out here? <laughs> it's just not what it used to be, that's all. Right. Mm -hmm. Of course, nothing stays the same. Yeah, that's true. It just happened that I went through there or the, this time, my whole term. can't even buy good barber equipment anymore. They don't even sell it. They mm -hmm. don't even make it. Hmm. Well, once again, in less than a month, the Howard Johnson's Barbershop, after 60 years, will be coming to an end. Is that right? That's right. A lot of memories here. Yeah, sure is. Oh, boy, there sure has been a lot.